see which camera's on. I'll, I'll put it on uh, rotate for now. Check, check, check. Well, if we're if we're like really lucky, Ryan, yeah. the computer won't keep rebooting all night. Was it doing that last time? It's doing it today. Oh. Well, we don't like that. No, it, that's a very bad thing. So, for you, at, those of you at home, paying attention to this uh, preamble to tonight's show. Um, if it cuts out, just watch for it to return several minutes later on a new stream. <laughs> oh, even better. It's got to yeah. be on a whole new stream. <laughs> well, it's great to see you, Ryan. It's great to be here in our new earlier time slot. Oh, because of the time change? Yeah. That, oh, that's right. So is it yeah. lighter or darker? Lighter. It's going to be light practically the whole time we're here now. Oh. I like it when it gets dark in here. Well, well, at least we'll be able to see the buildings. <laughs> Hello, Mary. Hello, Howard. I started a second sketch at the because I did the little one. Mary's. And so I'm sizing up the Fatty Bear Company, but I just have the only rough sketch. But Ryan would like the detail, the blue light billboard. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought the billboard tells the story because it's before Bison's opening, you know, and there's yes. kind of an excitement about the beer garden being open early, and there's a lot of activity surrounding. Yeah, it. people are really enjoying it's themselves nice. out there. I know. I, I love the. They seem to be uh, five hundred beers. Five hundred <laughs> beers, drinking themselves silly out there. Speaking of silly, we'll be here for the next couple of hours. You're watching Lounge Academy. Sketch, but Ryan would like the detail. Okay, I could hear the sound working good. This is the part of the show where I walk around with the gimbal. Yeah. I'm kind of looking forward to this part of the show because I want to go downstairs. It's it's uh, where it's nice and cold. It's very worked warm. Worked up a sweat. Both upstairs and downstairs today with our unexpectedly warm weather. Yes. And another perk of our new location here is that you can look over the edge and watch the March Madness game. Oh, yes. The March Madness game is... For you uh, die, sports diehards, um, you'll be able to watch it right from your right from your brass rail. Mary's going down to to get the first drink of the night. There she goes. See, she's demonstrating her leadership. Let's go down there. I see Matt and uh, Patrick, mm -hmm. our, our boss. Pat, Patrick is there. Have you met Patrick? Brian? Our, our new, uh, our new uh, bar and food uh, manager. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, nice guy. He's, he's, he's totally, well, we'll get a tray from the horse's mouth. Oh, it's, seems like we never left the bar. <laughs> Jeremy, there's a dance competition. All these kids are in this dance competition. Yeah, Jeremy's going to be a celebrity. Uh, Gary knows a thing or two about dancing, and there's a dance competition right here. <laughs> this is our co-host, Gary Marino, one of the founders of Lounge Academy. Look at that shirt. you got to get Gary's shirt. He's an ex-officio co-host. Oh, look at the shirt. 
That's a great shirt. That's awesome. <laughs> In case I don't get a date later, I who needs one with a shirt like that? <laughs> yeah, we had solar heating. Still hot. I went for a walk in the but it's cooling off and becoming very, very comfortable in here, isn't it? Oh, yes. I mean, compared to what we've been going through oh, yeah. in the past, anything seems hot. But it's nice and comfortable. I could probably consider um, taking the plow off the truck and taking my thermal underwear off and my woolen socks. But we'll, maybe we should give it a couple weeks. Sometimes you get a surprise. What do you got there, Gary? Gary brews his own beer. So I do. Now he this didn't is, brew this. This is beer. not it. No. He got this from Nat at this the bar. Stella Artoir. Can you repeat that? Stella Artoir. He's still sober. You can repeat that perfectly. Stella Artoir. Stella Artoir. They've got fancy beers Very here. Very nice lager. Because we're fancy. I mean, look at this beautiful concoction that Ryan's drinking. Yes. yes. Very, is that a Kenmore iced tea? What's a Kenmore iced tea? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it makes the Long Island iced tea look like a little girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I just make up the the pickup line and then um, the joke pickup line and then somebody around here comes up with the punchline. There you go. You're just the straight man. I am straight. I've been tested a couple of times, and I, I'm straight. Just, just the way, it, the way it is. I got the escalators running. Escalators are running. Good. Gary, I mean, you look like you're in your element here. I see dancers. Yeah, it's the New York City Dance Alliance. That girl's definitely a dancer. I'm not even a dancer. New York truck City Dance Alliance competition convention this weekend here. I think some of my students might be competing. I would think you'd uh, you'd fit right in here, so to speak. Yeah. I'll bet you a lot of them know about know of you. Could be. And a lot of them might know you have something to do with dancing too. Possibly. <laughs> It's possible. Anything's possible. Mary's going back upstairs. Well, let's go and start the show. This is this is what you'll be experiencing, lounge cadets, when you're I'm here in person. The, I'm usually at the judges' table. That's that's a fact. Yeah. I'm a competition judge. I almost pulled a nick. I can't mingle with the lower downs. Not officially. You do do it. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We have, we have two we have two comments. Andrea's on her way. You hear an interesting noise in the background? Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Um, it was always not far off uh, in an olfactory way. There's always those those closed cigarettes in the air. In here? Everywhere. Everywhere? I'm I'm picking up a nuance of it. Here? Yeah. Um, I usually get it by the elevators. Huh. Is that a real popular thing now? You sort of seem to keep your thumb on the pulse of that. I thought that was popular pop culture. 15, 20 years ago. I didn't know Maybe they were having like a Grateful Dead convention. Maybe. Audrey Clark, good evening. Audrey, <laughs> wonderful having you lounging with us. This Hello, evening. Audrey. Always look forward to it. 
I am. I'm going to join there to see Elliot Scazzaro. Starts at 6 o'clock. That's a name I've kind of Elliot, the sax player? Oh, okay. Let's sit down and eavesdrop on Mary and Gary. You know, they're, they have interesting conversations. There's a Starbucks down there in case anybody needs to sober up. That's, that's Matt down there. That's your bartender. She's walk, walking away somewhere. It's like an administration building for the old grain elevators. Oh. Oh, that it's sounds It's made wonderful. from all reclaimed items. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an interesting road, wow. Yeah. And then they have a little, another building in the back, which is a smaller one. Uh, it's almost like a garage thing, but they have a fireplace and another bar. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, it's that really, sounds great. Oh, it's beautiful. I want to go there. I yeah, like that place. I love that place. And the food is really good oh, there, too. Nice. Yeah. Good evening, uh, you know, Cadet Bill Jenkins. Wonderful pizzas. having you with us. Oh, Wonderful nice. being with you. They have a great beer menu. Cocktails. I'm going to restart my bar days. Of course, so far I've been a disembodied voice. So that's going to go voice. And then yeah. after that, I'm going to go see There's a cameo, a cameo shot of me, so you know I'm really here. <laughs> this is a great lineup. You oh, no, after the um, I'm honored that we're included. Damone, Miracle now, Jackson. I'm going to mention... Uh, <clears throat> for good luck. Which whiskey bar is this? Right around the that, uh, oh, nine. We'll turn if the stream goes dead, I'm having an uh, issue day. with my you PC day. here. Uh, um, uh, an action it's yes. oh, yeah. no, it's just suddenly day. rebooting. Uh, I did it several I'm times uh, in the uh, couple hours I was set up here ahead of the show. Um, so if it does it, the stream will end and it'll start again as a new stream several minutes later so i apologize in advance if that happens and i'm i'm hoping that by me saying this it'll make it not happen but uh i'd say we got uh, probably be probably better than a 50 percent chance we're going to experience that issue tonight but but it's amazing uh really the technology despite that that is great that we're getting that recognition because that is right so I said, I totally agree with this when I commented on Jeff Meyer's thing. I said, I totally agree with this. I said, but the one thing is, like in the old taproom days, when stuff started at 10 o'clock. Yes. And, and even Central Park Grill. Yes. Chicken Smith started at 10. Right. That's On a Wednesday night. Oh, I didn't realize it yeah, was that late. Yeah, 9 or 10, remember? Yeah, yeah, it was late, now that you think of it. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, like we, I, got out, I used to get out there at 1 o'clock. Nobody goes to How many park. people at home remember that Chicken Smith Our started at 10? overall. Really this has always like, been a late town, people going out late. Yeah, I could not find a chicken wing to save my life after 10.30. You know what? It's getting anyway. like the suburbs. The suburbs Ari, have yeah. that problem. Ari came the here city privileges. on a Monday night. It was 9 or 10 o'clock. I picked him up. I think it was like 10 o'clock. And he wanted to go out and have dinner somewhere. On a Monday night, he couldn't find anywhere that was serving like late night food. And late night how embarrassing yeah. for you. Yeah, he was like, and even Mother's was closing her up. Oh, Mother's is always used, used to be open at four. So even his mother closed at four. Yeah, right? he went to the old thing and got a steak sandwich there. At least so, some things never change. Ladies and gentlemen, when whenever you're in a fine lounge like this, the conversation always turns to Ari Silverstein. Yeah, you write about the lake. Remember a lot of bars, well, I still brought up, but back with my heyday, it's the product. But I always liked that they were at different times, you know, yeah, so no, some place no. started late. You could go to, I used to go to Nietzsche's after my shift at the Niagara Gazette when I didn't get out till two. Yeah. And I could still catch the last set mm -hmm. of the third or Galen Yeah, Mon, that's nice. Damone Jackson. I, I always used to go to the CPT and I'd be able to catch. Yeah, Damone, when he plays Nietzsche's, he starts at night. Yeah. And um, after the two o'clock, I probably couldn't catch the CPT, but if I did the 1 a.m., Sunday yeah. night after Manny, there's a jazz band comes in. Oh, Manny I plays see. from 6 to 8. Oh, yeah. Well, she plays from like 6.30 to 5 to 8. Oh, okay. She always comes see, late. Yeah, that's she what always my comes late Pilates instructors would always do that. Yeah. Zumba the cadets are discussing the great <laughs> lounges. Yeah, come late and leave early. Yeah. Oh, but still, that's nice. They, they never get tired back in, discussing you know, their favorite subject. In my Allentown Jim Mills. days. Oh, look who's here. It's Brenda. She's, she really is here. Well, we're on next to Howard. You guys People at home have been really missing Brenda. 
is my friend Welcome Jim. Back. This is Howard. Jim, nice. Hi, how are you? Wonderful to nice meet you. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you. He's never been here before, so I thought well, I needed a chauffeur yes. tonight too because yeah. I can't see anything. I have to have <laughs> eye surgery. So oh, yeah, Mary said something. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> cataract. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He said the left eye is I, I'm like legally blind. I don't know how I drove 10 hours oh. from Charlotte. I didn't tell anybody I was having eye problems because everyone would worry. So. Is it just like there's like a little Here. film in there in the way or something? Yeah, it's like a blur. It's like cloudy. I've got like baby ones that he said are way, way too early to, yeah. to, to t do anything about. But um, in the one eye, I, I could tell, you know. Yeah. So it's just, you know. You know why? Because people used to live to be like 17, I think, right? Right. Through, through most of history, yes. maybe. Yes. So um, we're pushing things, and you know, we, we have to get things. Uh, we're still youngsters. Either that, or <laughs> either that, or the medicine is make, making us have all these problems. You know, right. not sure which. Right. Well, it's so good to be back. Yeah. Well, it's great because. Um, we got here at Lounge Academy. We got tired of gossiping about you behind your back <laughs> on reality piano. I was bar. watching. <laughs> I was watching from Charlotte. Uh, it's good. Uh, it's always good to, to watch yeah. because you don't know what they're going to be saying about you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Make sure. That's very true. That's right. Well, you look fantastic. Well, thank you. Thank you. And Jim does too. Jim looks better than ever. <laughs> Uh, well, so so have you two known each other for a long time, or is it a rec recent friendship? Just a recent. Recent. Oh, yeah. nice. Very recent. Very recent. Isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah. Just down here by the bar. No. no. We're getting your drink. No, 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 no. He picked me up. I couldn't drive. Just like the old days. Oh, I know. No. It's... I didn't know kids still did that. It's a it's a story. I'll tell you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yes, I know. He gave I you a ride because, he, <laughs> because you're right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because you're, you're a responsible driver. I am. Very Both of you. Yeah. Well, I invited, I invited yeah. him to come tonight, and we were both going to ride together. Everything works for a reason. And then I called him. I said, I can't go unless you take me. Yeah. I can't see. That was smart. So, I wanted to come. Well, you have, yeah, we would have all shown up and gotten you if you didn't show up. We would have sent this train <laughs> off the tracks and everything. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh. Look at, the, look at this view. It's very nice. I was hoping you'd like it. I love I thought, it. I well, thought I, you would. From, oh, I've never been up here before. I hadn't either. No. I had no idea until the day we started. Because I, I was here a few days before, or the week before, and it was the lights weren't on and nobody, I couldn't see up here, and I didn't think we were going to be up here, I just didn't pay it any attention. I thought we were going to be at the bar, which would have been fine, which would have been great, you know, but then we saw this, like, this is better, this is really great. Yeah, tell Jim about your piano from Jackie Jacko. Did you ever hear of Jackie Jacko? Never. Wow. No. See? Oh, no. New blood. No. Yes. Definitely new blood. That's good. Now I won't be compared to him. Because it's he's a tough act to follow. Wow. So it's good when people don't have, you know, that knowledge. That yeah, that baseline to compare. Right. Have you ever been to Mike? Was, I guess he was really something back in the day. I don't know. I used to be a little Yeah, I mean till the end he was amazing. Yeah. But uh, back in the day it's Really amazing musician and singer, you know. But his and act was still great yeah. up until he retired. I mean, it's so he's playing his piano. And it's oh, got all Jackie are? Jacko's yeah. notes on oh, nice. it. Yeah, I'm the uh, I'm the entertainment this evening. Very nice. I've heard of it. Arthur and, and I sent Jim the the, uh, the link so he can watch it tomorrow. We call this Lounge Academy. And we live stream it. It's a, it's a kind of a fake TV show. Yeah. And, and these are the people that come or watch it are lounge cadets. So how did this all come about? It's been going on for years and years. Really? Yeah. Um, we've been here. This is our fifth fifth week. It's only our fifth week 
here at the Hyatt Regency Buffalo. Um, but for 11 years before that, we were at the Statler, which is just, right. just you know, half a block over there. Right. And um, it, the Statler closed January 1st for remodeling, extensive remodeling for a couple of years. So the owner wanted us to keep going, so he Andrew? put us over you? here, which was oh, which delighted us because yeah. very 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 <laughs> Sometimes nice. Sometimes they are, yes. <laughs> and this build, this this hotel is a is a great legacy for um, <laughs> piano entertainment because Jackie Jocko um, was in in the uh, was here for 25 years and and really built the room. You know, and, um, so it has, you know, it's got the history. Nice. Yeah. Wish I'd known. Oh, you, yeah. It came in too late. I'm late I'll, I'll get you some old uh, videos of them. Oh, yeah? Two of them just opened. Okay. I mean, the name sounds familiar. But I, I'm sure, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. That's three to everybody else that's here so soon. You see, Diane's with us this evening. This is this is a big night. Yeah, we got Jim for the first time. Brenda's back, and Diane. Well, there are. I mean, there's that. Now, Diane is a lounge owner, is a uh, piano bar, piano entertainer. Yeah, and she's. Uh, oh Hi, Diane. Are you here for the piano man? I said, of course. You got to check it out. You get free valet parking. No, for you. Yeah. Free? Yeah. If you say so. That's why they asked. I just oh, but he gave me the ticket. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah, but I don't think they're going to charge you. That's, that's oh, what they, that would be nice. At least that's what they've been doing so far. It's nice because it was seven dollars for three hours. Yeah, that's a lot yeah. of money. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Oh, yeah. A dollar is a lot. Anything's a lot of money. <laughs> money is a lot of money. You got there right. You know. That's what I like about you. We had a riot there. Now, Diane, I'm talking to the, the home to Dex. Uh, as we're live streaming this. I know you have been having your picture taken. No, I don't. Here, wait, She's slowly wait, wait, adapting. Let me take my... She, you're, much, you're much more... You, you look... Hot. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, look, you do. You look fantastic. Oh, yeah. Totally you look lounge, so lounge oh, ready. I look yeah. Like but Diane is not yeah. not just a, another I mean, pretty face in the lounge. She is a lounge entertainer. Uh, uh, excellent piano bar, Easter. Uh, <laughs> if that's a word. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, in a very serious <laughs> way. Yeah. She's very good. She does a lot. <laughs> Michelle Legrand. That's right. One of her specialties. She's got a lot of soul. Yeah. I do. Yeah. She's got the, the it, whatever that it is. Okay, now that we're done smoothing and glad handing portion of the show, I will now switch you to the rotating cameras. Okay, we are now back. We are now on the fine studio microphone. Sorry about the lighting. The lighting conditions are a little difficult to adapt to. I'm going to be walking a little bit away from your mic here as I just set this camera up. Forgive me.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, fun begins in earnest. This is great. We're 25 minutes into the show, and I haven't played anything yet. See, see, these, we give some professional tips along the way. Check out all the cameras for you here. That camera looks like it's aimed pretty good for you. Too bad they're not at the closer table to you, but uh, that's okay. I'm going to pour myself a, uh, a beverage into the official Lounge Academy mug. Through this stereo microphone, you could hear the bubbles. Andre is entering the room. Welcome. Wonderful to see you. Jocko's keys and mopping it up before lightning strikes. If you know what I mean. Great. Well, That's great. That's great, Perry. I'm glad you're with us. So far, it's the computer has not rebooted. It gives no warning. If it does, we'll just uh, start a new stream, like probably uh, five minutes later. If it does it more than a couple times, then, I'll, then we'll just punt. technology. I mean, it's really amazing that this stuff works as well as it does. as an experiment, you know, and uh, this week, this week I'm experimenting with um, additional audio sources to use in post-production so that we could bring up the audio when uh, some of the lounge cadets have interesting things to say that they haven't necessarily said close enough to the piano microphone to be heard and this piano microphone is, is uh, 
it's it's more unidirectional than omnidirectional. So um, I actually ordered a, a, another mic that's going to be in tomorrow. Didn't get here in time for today, but it's 360 degree pickup, and that's going to go out near the tip jar at the piano, so we could build these these plot lines here at Reality Piano Bar. Because if you heard the things I hear, you'd, you'd never sleep. Stuff you can't make up. Now, I don't know what they're saying because they're way over there. But I could, I could put one of my bugging devices over on the table. Want me to do that? set it up to at least uh, record audio. I don't know if I could, uh, if I set this on the, the table, I'm not, I mean, that's a pretty bold move. Well, okay, I'm looking for the, the app. Come on, where did I put it? Oh, oh, it's, this one has it. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is this is recording. Um, let's, let me see. Here comes Peggy. It's Peggy. Ooh, it's Peggy. One of the. Uh, Bring him over to the piano. See how I did that? Giving, giving instructions to the crew. Okay, we're gonna bring them to the mic. Where do you want me to sit? Have, have them sit wherever you want, wherever you want. Oh yeah. Okay. song ever written is written there and everybody that's ever owed him money is on there <laughs> at the Staler and he wanted to keep it going. He, he owns both places, yeah. That's the connection. Yeah, for remodeling for a couple of years. Yeah. Well, thank you. I didn't have a very big PA for this big room, so I wore a louder tie. <laughs> the Broadway Hotel. All right, we'll try to stop in. Who, who are you with? Wow. <laughs> How great. I'll bet you're great at it. with the Morgan Street Stompers this uh, Sunday, 2 to 5, in North Tonawanda at the Broadway Hotel. Very good. <laughs> she didn't think I was paying attention. Very good. 
You'll be very glad you checked that gig out. I guarantee it. It comes with a warranty. idea, Nick. I should build that into one of my push buttons. Talking to Nick Otto. He's in Virginia tonight, but he's been here in person. Namesake to the great John Otto. You ever listen to John Otto on the radio? Back in the old days? His son is a lounge cadet. In fact, he's co-hosting tonight's show remotely. He's an honorary ex-officio co-host tonight. show where everybody's stone cold sober. Chaco trained me for this part. This is the icebreaker part of the show, which is not difficult. These people are above, above uh, talking with each other because each one is fascinating. on this. Okay. okay. Um. Hey Ryan. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna get Ryan to hold this phone and it's it's a it's a microphone. Academy. You are now a lounge cadet. It's that easy. Did you see what I did? I did there, ladies and gentlemen. This will be exciting. secrets, <laughs> especially if they've been here before, it's all out. <laughs> I'm 
good job. Special feeling downtown. I'll turn my turn my joke mic. Making sure my joke mic is up high enough. If they don't laugh, I know it's not up high enough. Brenda showing Jim the cell phone that she found on the uh, subway. She hacked it open, We're laughing at all the stuff in there. Yes, every week is an experiment, and that's for you, the home audience. Here we go. There we go, that's better for you. Now we've got the piano bar cam right there. Starting from your right, that's show regular and president of WBIG TV, Ryan Lysars. And he's talking to uh, Andrea, who's a show regular. And of course, Brenda's. Uh, She's back, uh, just starting our new season now. She, she was a big favorite at last, last season's show. And she brought, brought Jim, the new guy, with her. And we'll see where, what develops here. Because this is Reality Piano Bar. Where these, where our cadets Escapades and sexcapades are, are fodder for, for instant plot lines here on WBIG TV's Lounge Academy. The show writes itself as we go. Where's, where's Dave? I think he said he was going to be gone. He's in West Palm Beach. How nice. Something happened there with uh, Brenda and Jim. They're coming up here to the uh, VIP area. This is great. Don't worry, folks. We've got that area covered for you. If you know what I mean. And I think you do. I think they're having a little privacy over there. Welcome. I still haven't played a song for those keeping score at home. Milking it. <laughs> this heart of mine. This goes out by request to Andrea. Ooh, this heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine. As far as I could tell. Suddenly I met you, and I dreamed of gay amour. At dawn I woke up singing sentimental overture. This heart of mine is dancing gaily now. I taste the wine of real romancing now. This crazy world is taking on a wonderful design. As long as life endures, it's yours, this heart of mine.
ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਹੁਣ It's kind of a Ron Moss situation. That's all. That was just one guy making all that racket. Let's get him over here to the lounge. We need a guy with a little energy like that. Right, I might have to have you throw him out of the building. you're wearing a bow tie you look official no we'll make him one of us everybody deep inside is a lounge cadet and you don't have to dig very far to find it first actual song of the night. Thank you. Thank you. With Brenda, the show writes itself. That's how we were the number one show last season. got her cat. She was supposed to, but then I never heard if she did. Did you get your cat? It's going to be a cliffhanger. for drinking in downtown Buffalo, I think. It's just, it, yeah, it's this whole St. Patrick's Day. It's not just a day down in Buffalo. It's like, a, it's a week. Well, it's a week's worth of drinking in four days. Tomorrow the real drinking starts. Today. I may not have a thing at all Except for just a dream or two I've got lots of plans for tomorrow All my tomorrows belong to you It may not seem like spring at all We're drifting in the laughs of you I've got rainbows planned for tomorrow All my tomorrow That love keeps passing us by Let's face But with you There by my side I'll soon be turning the tide Just wait As long as I've got a I'll be clinging to all the dreams I dream, beg, and borrow. All my 
my tomorrow come true. All my bright tomorrows belong to you. Jimmy Van Heusen and Sammy Kahn. All my tomorrows. Well, as we live and breathe, it's Dan. Our State Farm man is here. Pull up a seat, Dan. We're saving that one for you. It's great to see you. You're looking great. Want a tango contest right here? sang with uh, my classmate, my Andy and Selma classmate. Yeah, they made that show, the two of them. There was a... Right, with, with Mandy? I think it made him a huge star. I think that was his first huge thing. Seas in the Great American Songbook.
say I care forever And I mean forever If I have to hold up the sky Crazy she calls me Sure I'm crazy Crazy shakes the bottom She moves me with her smile The difficult going to be over there. The place is going to close and we're still going to be there. We're going to be dancing in the dark. <laughs> Till the two nans were dancing in the dark. And it soon ends. We're waltzing in wonder. Why we're here. Time hurries by, we're here and gone. Of the new, of where brighten up the night. I have you. the music. Thank you, Diane and Ryan. Notice I have full 360 degree awareness, even when I'm reading music. Ooh. 
That's Schwartz and Dietz. Did you know that? Schwartz and Dietz wrote that one. It's called Dancing in the Dark. Thank you. I'm drinking out of the official Lounge Academy mug tonight. We've got It's taken me years to do that. We're, we're, we're here to build the good old days. Right? Instead of pining over the places that closed and that we miss going to, we created our own. These are, it's so true, you know. Because I've seen so many of these situations that we've lived through that we, we thought they were they were gonna last forever. You know? And then it's horrible when they don't and everybody gets split up. And that made it worse, yeah. By a lot, yeah. So here we are. says hi to Ryan and he's prodding me to get on to some more tunes. The day, the days of wine and roses, laugh and run away like a child at play. wasn't there before. Oh, night discloses just a passing breeze filled with memories of a golden smile introduced me to the days of Of wine and roses and you 
days of wine and roses. That's what we're going to call these. Peggy's taking Diane's purse. That was the days of wine and roses, of course. From a movie called The Days of Wine and Roses. Did you see that movie? I've seen clips of it. Very sad. Sad. I see. Well, alcoholism is a sad topic. Except while you're drunk, it's not. <laughs> then it's a blast. Yeah. It's one of the, it's kind of, maybe it's a zero sum game. You know, because you're having so much fun and later and later it's not. You pay for it. I'm not a good drinker. I wish I was. Why? It, it looks like so much fun. Yeah. And and I'm not... Well, if you... If I'm talking about like once a year or yeah, New Year's or something or St. Patrick's Day. Dingus Day. Dingus Day. It's Dingus Day. So what the hey? Let us see 
from Leave It To Me by Cole Porter, words and music. He did the whole ball of wax. It's great to see everybody looking so relaxed. That's what this is all about. It works. There's not a care in the world. my 
cousin in law, sort of. What would you call it? My god cousin in law. My best friend's cousin from childhood. And here he is through the magic of today and the magic of lounge piano. He's watching from Canada. I remember when he was this little kid and his beautiful sister, she looked like Marilyn Monroe, she still does. And Brian became this huge person, this big muscle bound guy. I remember him driving away in a Trans Am T-top and it was like it was like a pedal car and his head was sticking out through the top. <laughs> I remember you leaving Syracuse that way one time. I hadn't seen you in years, and I just, that's how, that's the impression it left on me. A simple life. Is that? I, I like having a simple life with lots of complicated electronics around me. At least they're, uh, oh, I shouldn't say, when you say they're not resetting. At least they're not working, is that it? No, they're not resetting. Yeah, knock on wood. We already beat the system getting this far. I'm afraid that I said that. Yeah, I know. It is. Poof. Karen Lizzie is checking in. Lizzie says hi to Brendan, says I see you made it. Now, now, what's the deal with, um, did, you, did you get a cat that was scheduled? I did. You did get it? Yeah. And you spent yesterday with the cat? Yes. It went well? If you were able to leave the house with the cat in it, it must be going okay. Oh, how great. Like a cow, like a cow markings. That's how Mary yeah. described it. Yeah, that's a cute. Uh, well, well, congratulations. Oh, that's great. Did his? Do the owners miss her yet? Did they? Oh, you adopted her. I thought you took. I thought you took her from somewhere. Wow, that's great. Well, I'm glad you got a good one. Congratulations to the, the two of you. Both both did well. Now it takes a little. It's a kind of a courageous. I mean, you're an interior designer, designer, so um, you know. So your your interior spaces are, you know, very nice and just right. So to introduce like a, an animal, a thinking animal that has its own mind. Well, I'm not surprised to hear that it's coordinated. It, the cat probably goes with the color colors and the color scheme. It's probably how you knew it was the right cat. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it would have. It would have made the sofa look a shade off. What if 
she starts like ripping up the sofa to shreds, what, like ours. Yeah, well, well that might be, that might be worth the sacrifice to let her, you know, just destroy that and then stay away from the stuff that's... Oh, I see. We, we just let Jeffrey, Jeffrey rip the house apart. We figure he knows, he must know something we don't know. Like, that, that, that chair is out. You're right, it's out. Well, there, there was one when he was young, when he was really at it, and uh, we finally put it out front for the garbage man. The garbage man was, was laughing hysterical. He says, you, you got a cat. He knew it. You know, this thing was like, the cat could actually go inside the chair. It got so bad. But you don't care. They're so great, you know, that... Yeah. Oh, I see. Trim the nails. So we've never done that. I trim, I mean, I trim my own. I trim my nails. But, yeah. yeah, well, I, you know, I, I guess I could do this. I don't know if um there's just so many things about cats that you, you don't know if they're like there's really a good reason behind it if you start to think about it, you know. Like do you really have to cut their nails? I mean it's probably a good idea if you don't want them to claw things. But would they like grow like Howard Hughes if you didn't do it? Or do they regulate themselves? Oh, there's a Howard Hughes reference. <laughs> Probably, yeah. People don't talk about it as much as they used to. The spruce goose. I don't believe in in fretting or grieving. Why mess around? Strife. I've never cut out to step up or strut out. Give me the simple life. Some find it pleasant dine in with pheasants. Those things just roll off my knife. Give me tomato and mashed potato. Give me the simple life. A cottage small is all I'm after. One that's spacious and wide A house that rings with joy and laughter Cause the one you love's inside Some like the high road I like that low road Free from the care and strife corny and seedy, but who but yes indeedy. Give me that simple life. That's Rube Bloom and Harry Ruby. Wake up and dream. Wake up and dream. What a clever title. Rube Bloom and Harry Ruby. Sounds like a team. A couple of guys I both. 
old with in my dad's Jewish businessmen's league on Monday nights in suburban lanes. Those guys could smoke cigars. That was back when they used to smoke in the bowling alleys. Boy, did they smoke. Holy cow. I used to work there, so I'd clean out the ashtrays, you know, and uh, they'd fill them up. Didn't, didn't seem unusual at the time. Now it would, would be like, wow. Yeah. I wonder what things we do now, every day, all day long, that will seem completely wacky. Probably something like breathing. Jogging. That makes no sense at all. And those guys, you know, between you and me, they're not healthy. They, they wind up, you know who sponsors that? Are those orthopedic surgeons. The ones that like sell knees and knees mostly, they all wind up getting knee replacements, right? Like with every uh, every hundred pair of sneakers, you get a new knee. Foot surgeries too. I mean, it starts out innocently enough, but then they, they start getting uh, like a drug high. It, it, endorphins or whatever they call them thing. you get like a runner's high endorphins they get dolphins but I admire their discipline it's really a compulsion more than discipline I mean, they're up at four in the morning running around the neighborhood. We're running somewhere. They run in a circle. They wind up in the same place they start. Well, maybe someday they'll explain it to us. And then it'll make sense. I always hear the other guy's side of things, you know? And people do things. You gotta figure. Sounds like a great story. If I think about it, I'll, I'll probably remember it.
seen you kids on TV, on the live stream. We were doing a Zoom meeting. Remember that? And you, were, you guys were all in the kitchen. It was during the lockdown. So we, so we have met before. Well, of course they were small. I was smaller. That was a couple, probably two years ago. That's Ryan. Ryan is in the house. Oh, Ryan. So what have you kids been doing in the last two years? Fill me in. Yeah, what did you do for two years? Real quick. singing it for the man that made the song really well known and popular, Gary Marino. I'll try to put my own signature on it, if I may. That's what I, that's what I call mistakes, my signature. Hey there, you with the stars in your eyes. I've never made a fool of you. You used to be too wise. Hey there, you with that high flying cloud. Though she wouldn't throw a crumb to you. forget her her with her nose in the air she has you dancing on a string break it and she won't care won't you take this advice I hand you like a brother and love to hear Is it all going in one ear and out the other Set coming up. Oh, won't you take this advice? I hand you like a brother. 
brother Or are you not seeing things too clear Too much in love to hear All going in one ear And out the other Hey there what a great song from Pajama Game. Reno knows all the cool songs, that's for sure. Except for Ari Silverstein gets them. Cadets are taking in the spectacular views from the atrium. Everywhere you look, it's just amazing. Watching Lounge Academy on WBIG TV, which is my Facebook page, my Facebook profile. And that makes you a lounge cadet. off that tingle that sudden explosion when two tingles intermingle who cares to define what chemistry this is who cares with your lips on mine what ignorant bliss is so long as you kiss me and the world around us shatters
chemical cats. Maybe that's the only thing I plenty of, my baby. Dream a while, scheme a while. We're sure to find happiness, and I'll guess. Those things you always pine for, cheap. I'd like to see you looking swell, my baby. Diamond bracelets, Woolworth doesn't sell, my baby. Till that lucky day, you know darn well. Well, baby. song. We took him out of our thank you. But it wasn't the key of F, which, which was convenient at the time. We've got in a great, a great elite group of lounge cadets here tonight. Everybody here is in show business, which is a, a kind, of, kind of unusual. Usually it's star studded, but great playing for show business performers, performing for the performers, because they understand the pain of the creative process. They usually get a pretty good laugh, but there's, there's a, a statistical, statistical prop, probability to just about anything. Like if you use a great joke 10 times in a row, and two times out of that in a row, people won't laugh. And it's just a t statistical anomaly. You shouldn't take it personally when that happens. It could also be that my joke microphone isn't up high enough. That's usually the case. It's usually not that, that it's not funny. It's just pretty quickly. I wonder what Kathy Moses is doing right now. Probably something really glamorous, like watching Lounge Academy. I think I'm going to turn my joke mic up a little more. We got some good ones coming up. Keep turning it up until the valets can hear it. That's right. One, one guy gave us the uh, thumbs up on the train. Flipped it right up there. It looked like his thumb. They were 
really dig us, who is probably watching. Here's a song about not getting started. I've flown around the world in a plane. I've settled revolutions in Spain. The North Pole I have charted, but I can't get started with you. A round of golf course, I'm under par. All the movies want me to star. I've got a house, a show place, but I can't get no place with you. You're so supreme, lyrics I write of you ski, just night and day of I sold my shorts in England and presented in court. But you've got me downhearted, cause I can't get started with you. I wrote lyrics for a lot of a lot of music writers, including Vernon Duke. That was from 1935. You know, you ever hear that song? 1935. So by uh, well, George Gershwin's brother wrote the lyrics. George Gershwin was a, wrote like half the songs back then in the 20s. He's a biggie. The brothers.
can't wait till the new the new brewery opens. I'll bet. It's great when a project gets, yeah, when I specialize in starting building much smaller endeavors than that. But I just like to start them and then I, I like to turn the keys and rev them up try it out and then I you know and then I just put it on the shelf in case I ever want to do it it's like building model planes you know you build it and it's great and then you know maybe you fly it make it go around in a circle if you just to prove proof of concept and there it is if you ever want to fly it you can fly it like Howard Hughes he keeps coming up tonight the Spruce Goose. I've got a Spruce Goose hot dog stand, car repair shop, donut business. That's right, that's right, Peggy. I like that. Someday I'm going to write a book. If they asked me, I could write a book about the way you walk, whisper, and look. I could write the preface of how we met the world. And the simple secret of the plot is just to tell them that I love you a lot. some great, great music lovers here, an entire room of music lovers. They're just soaking it in. That's what I like about these Friday nights. It's like a big hot tub of old songs. Yeah. <laughs> to, to wax poetic. I cover the waterfront I'm watching the sea For the one I love Coming back to me I cover the waterfront In search of my love And the cover by Starless sky above. Here I am, a 
patiently waiting, hoping and longing. Oh, how I yearn. Where are you? Are you forgetting? Do you remember? Will you return? John Green and Edward Heyman, who I'm not, I'm not really familiar, familiar with their works. Um, some of the more musicological among the Bounce Cadets, like Paul Kokoda, might know other things they wrote, but I do not, I do not. That's why I come to Lounge Academy to learn. Often we do, as a rule. Well, well, they're, they're they're not all within you know range. They're spread out throughout the uh, the acreage of this lounge. when the sun sets over the Lounge Academy Lounge the way it is now. I mean, it's not a visible sunset, but the sun is diminishing. And soon the, the lights from the buildings will change the, the vista for us. And it's really beautiful when that happens. We had a week here a couple weeks ago. It was snowing just right. And it was like being in a giant snow globe. It was beautiful. It was darker two weeks ago because they, they nuts with the clock since then. Does anybody even know why they still do that? You know, we get into these habits. Are they? it's not so bad now because the clocks in our cars and every place else change automatically now. It used to be a real pain. My old cars, they're off like six months out of the year, they're off. You gotta do math. Your microwave is still. Luckily the old cars, the clocks break. I get no kicks from champagne. Alcohol doesn't thrill me at all So tell me why should it be true I get a kick out of you Some get a kick from cocaine Get a kick out of you. I get a kick every time I see you standing there before me. I get a kick, though it's clear to me. It's obviously you don't adore me. Cole Porter 
songs. From Anything Goes. Anything Goes at Lounge Academy. Exactly, Kathy Moses. change my plans I should have realized there'd be another man I overlooked that point completely until the big affair began before I knew where I was at I found myself up on the shelf and that was that tried to reach the moon, but when I got there, all that I could get was the air. My feet were back upon the ground. I've got the one thing, the one girl I found. change my plans. Dietz and Schwartz. about Cape Cod. Jeff and, Jeff and Lisa, who we met last, last week, were from Cape Cod. They were a ball. If you met some friends and they were from Cape Cod,
those clams. I was there for six weeks once. Staying at a, living at a Holiday Inn, I was in a top 40 band. It was like 1983. We had a bus. It was an old school bus painted silver with spray paint. What a ball. singer was? You might know him, Mark Dixon. Have you ever seen the Party Squad? Yeah. Yeah. We, we traveled on the road. We were roommates. What a singer. What a singer. What a great guy. grow tired of gleaming when I am tired of dreaming then I'll be tired this I know is true when winds grow
Lounge Academy, and the room is full of lounge cadets. They are the show. Because they create their own storylines. water too. Well, I've got a little bar set up here. Here's a song from, it's called, I may be wrong, but I think you're wonderful. The second part is in parentheses. They do that sometimes. It's a subtitle. I may be wrong, but I think you're wonderful. 
I may be wrong, but I think you're swell. Peggy, I like your style, say. I think you're marvelous. Help me out, Peggy. I may be always wrong, so how can I tell? All of my shirts are unsightly. All of my ties are a crime. If dear I knew, if dear I knew, I've picked rightly It's the very first time You came along saying I think you're wonderful I think you're grand But I may be wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, Peggy Farrell. And you can catch more of Peggy Farrell this Sunday at the, the, the Broadway, the Broadway Hotel in uh, North Tonawanda from two to five. And she's gonna be with the Beatles the Morgan Street Stompers. She's very exciting to watch perform. She knows every trick in the book. Good night, Peggy. Thank you very much for stopping by and giving the cadets a little thrill. A big thrill. She was really one of the, the, arguably the impetus for Lounge Academy because um, it all started when Peggy was coming over to, to do some canning with Mary on a Monday night. And um, so, that took, so that took Mary out of the scene because she was in the kitchen with Peggy. Um, so her brother, her brother George was, was over. Gary Marino may have been, he may, have, may as well have been, because he got in on this, if not that night, very soon. So the, the idea was, the scheme was, well, Peggy's coming over on Monday nights for their new canning thing that they got decided to cook up. We were scheming, we wanted her to, to bring her boyfriend over, Al Tinney, who was a legendary bebop, you know, he actually, arguably, like, helped foment bebop, according to the, the scholars. Of course, we all knew him and were friends with him, but you know, he wasn't coming over to hang out with us and stuff. So that was the plan. And it, it did not really work, but it turned into a musical night. We, that's our great Charlie, who's taking care of your car tonight, Charles. So anyway, um, it turned into the Monday Night Jam that went on for like 10 years at our house. And we had, that's how we met Guy Valeri. And just, just great people came by routinely. And uh, we did get Al there like on holidays. You know, we had him on other, not, not Mondays. I don't, I don't know if he ever came over on a Monday night. But he was like the stone soup. You know, we used him to like make the soup. But, but, <laughs> We never actually had him as an ingredient. So it turned into this thing, and then and then that became the Statler and, and Big Blue at our place downtown when we got that. And then finally that turned into this. Peggy Farrell. She makes things happen. Some people are catalysts. You ever notice that? Yeah. There's like a few people and things always happen around them and, and make everything go in a direction. 
Yeah. Thank goodness for those people. feet, you know, it's just, you can just hear it through her whole, her whole body becomes this big, like, bag of wind, it just oh, resonates, it's, it's, it's incredible, she's so good, well, no, but it, it, to a singer, they understand, that's like, that's what you want to be, you just want to be able to open up, you know, Well, maybe we could find another, another ism. Are the stars out tonight? I don't know if it's cloudy or bright. Cause I only have eyes for you. Here, the moon may be high. See a thing in the sky Cause I only have eyes For Deborah Thank you, I don't know If we're in a garden Or on a crowded avenue You were here, so am I Millions of people go by, they all disappear from view. Classic car show when you're at Lounge Academy. make you happy too. Life's really worth living when you are mirth giving. Why you, why I can't give some to you. When skies are gray and skies are blue, I'll send my sun shining through. Till I make you happy too. Yeah. 
can't be happy till I make you happy too. Life's really worth living. Ooh, when you are worth giving. Why can't I give some to you? Oh, when the skies are gray and they say you are blue. I'll send the sun smiling through. I want to be happy, but I can't be happy till I make you happy too. The great Al Jolson song. He was the best, wasn't he? Welcome, co-workers. My name's Howard. I work with you on Friday nights. Follies. Remember when that opened up? That was 1937. <laughs> Seems like yesterday. Eventually, everything seems like yesterday. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that. My new corner bar to open. All I have to do is roll, get momentum going, rolling under the Colvin, the Colvin Basin, under the railroad track. And I'm halfway home. Gentlemen. 
gentlemen, I'll rise. Jay Anderson is in the room. Our representative from the district of Amherst. He's our representative at the World Economic Forum. He's got our back. Don't worry about a thing. feel like everything's under control when he's around, right? He's a, he's a natural leader. See? The leaders know each other. The, the alphas, the alpha thinkers. so many young global leaders in one room. Sing a song using sign language. Okay, he's doing. He's just did a walk on. That's how they do that when they're as politicians. You know, great seeing you, ladies. And how about another big round of applause for Jay Anderson and his bodyguard? There they go. They're going down the brass escalator where they make their historic announcement. I enjoy my jokes. I'm my best audience. Obviously. It's good to be appreciated even if it's just by yourself. I get excited when Jay Anderson's around. Academy. And, oops, spilled a little on my official official pants. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I'm pouring it into the official lounge Acad Academy 
mug. I'll wait for the camera to come around. It's random though, so there it is. Is this thing, this camera, this camera looks frozen for crying out loud. We might have to fix that. Frozen, frozen camera aisle too. Still frozen. There it goes. We fixed it. See, we can fix these things. We'll check all the cameras. This one's working. Is this one frozen too? Tonight is the night of the frozen cameras. It's great, nobody even noticed. Still frozen. This computer has been computer has been acting up. We talked to it's been it's been rebooting. Now it didn't that isn't the problem uh, presently. Fortunately, let's see. We'll switch it to another camera, which it won't do. Okay. Oh, well, there it goes. We're fixing cameras here. Maybe, you know what? Maybe the camera died. Galaxy. I'm going to check it. Hang on. Okay. If it's broken, we can fix it. That's right. It looks like there's fireworks going on outside. Oh my goodness. That's my car blowing up. <laughs> Synchronizing cameras, very good. We are back. We fix the equipment in real time. for this. Brenda requested this one back in 2021. Mine. I 
I'm afraid the masquerade oh, is over and so is love and so just routine I'm afraid the masquerade is over and so is love Music 
We didn't, we didn't act quick enough. I didn't want to, I didn't want to lose the dance floor, you know. I got to get better at multitasking. They're afraid they'd have to share it. Yeah. Which is true, they would have. Yeah. That's right. I would have just reached over. I get pretty hungry by the end of the night. I see dancers. I see I see professional dancers. I can tell it. I can tell when I see them. Plus there's a dancing thing going on. A dancing con some dancing competition. I might join it. You never know. Do you think they still have those competitions where it's like whoever can stay dancing the longest wins? You used to see those like yeah. sitcoms. Yeah, like during the, the during the depression. Yeah. Gosh, I hope it doesn't come to that. Of course, now we've got five-hour energy drink. They might have to test you for it. Sandra Jean, that describes you as well. Elegance. We're looking forward to your next visit. Along with your wonderful husband, so we could discuss the stock market together. song that isn't done very often. I'm a fool to want you. I'm a fool to want you. To want a love that can't be true. A love that's there for others too. I'm a fool to hold you, such a fool to hold you. To share a kiss the devil has known time and time again. I said I'll leave you time and time again. I went away, but then would come a 
time when I would need you. And once again, these words I'd have to say. I'm a fool to want you. Such a fool. It's wrong, it must be wrong, but right or wrong, I can't belong, I can't get along without you. What a song. was for Syndra. He must have taken time off from his civic duties. He should have stayed at he should have stayed there. I might take a little recess just because I can. You know, I mean I could probably hold on for another hour if I had to. It's probably good for you to do that. You know? From a mechanical sense. Okay, I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to keep the cameras rolling. Not with, not with me. But I'm going to not kick over my drinks. They never know it because it's...
Ride the roof. I, I, I could. There were some people inquiring. Oh. Why, they want to use the piano? <laughs> no. They just were wondering if you were playing anymore. Where are they, at the bar? Yeah, they're downstairs. I said I said Do they look like tippers? They, they drink top shelf. Oh, yes. They sound exactly right for Orange Academy. Everybody watching in rerun land or live. Thank you, Ryan and Zach. There goes Ryan, president of WBIG TV. He's going to go catch up with Jay Anderson, politician. They're going to get in the Buick, the Lexus. Once in a while, I hear a tone that I just recognize from, from the old lounge. I really do. crush on you sweetie pie all day and all night time hear me sigh I never had the least bit notion that I could fall Could you cool 
Could you care for Cunning Cottage? We could share the world will pardon our mush Cause I've got a crush for Dan. He loves Gershwin. Don't we all? The night is like a lovely tune. That's a cliff notes fake. You know, the 
great songs. There's one not too many people play anymore. They should, though. This heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine. As far as I could tell Suddenly I met you And I dreamed of gay amour And I woke up singing Sentimental overtures This heart of mine Is dancing gaily now I taste the wine in it.
can't accidentally write a song that good. You know, you, you gotta be Cy Coleman. Good things start as a joke, don't they? <laughs> Brenda's gonna go home to her new cat. I always look forward to go home to my cat. Our cat, got an orange tabby. They're they're so they're great. Of course, ours is exceptional. Naturally. that song is.
do some search and destroy. Destroy, that's a, that goes without saying. <laughs> Here's one. Here's Paul Cambria's song. He makes me play this for him. And you better do it. Yeah. He's a lounge cadet. <laughs> you must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. As time goes by And when two lovers woo They still say I love you On that you can rely No matter what the future brings as time goes by Moonlight and love songs Never out of date Heart full of passion Jealousy and hate Woman needs man And man must have his For love and glory, a case of do or die. The world will always welcome lovers as time goes by. tough one. Who knows who wrote? Everyone knows the song. <laughs> Nobody knows who wrote it. Diane might, because she's a pro. But even so, Herman Hupfeldt. <laughs> Herman Hupfeldt. He needed a better publicity man. <laughs> yeah, something like Cher or something, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's too ordinary of a name. It's got to be something like a star would have. Like Howard Goldman. <laughs> Where or when? Where or when? Remember we did that with Jackie Jockey? You know, I think you got me. I, I should have brought more books. Yeah. I went to a Shakespeare in the Park performance a long time ago here where they do, we do it. Yeah, we don't have it. Where they, it was one of the ones where. Was Good a, song, though. No. Great song. But it was about twins being separated. I did. I never. 
never dreamt it could be. But there you were, in love with me. I saw your lips next to mine, so I kissed them. You didn't mind this at all. When I'm away, such a break never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming? You know this one. If there's a chance that you care, then please say you do, my baby. Say it and make my make my crazy dream come true Sit and make my crazy dreams all true That nice, tells a nice story, doesn't it? Thank you. That's a great Gershwin tune. Gershwin? Yeah. yeah, from uh, Baldwin Follies. <laughs> They're about due for a comeback, right? <laughs> the Goldwyn oh, Follies yeah. of 2022. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I hope they don't update it too much. <laughs> Nothing but rainbows in my sky. I was doing all right till you came by. Had no cause to complain. Life was as sweet as apple pie. Never noticed the rain till you came by. Now, whenever your way, can't sleep nights and suffer all the day. Just keep on wondering, life may be one big blunder. When you hold me tight, tingling all through, I feel somehow I was doing all right. Gotta revisit that. They're on YouTube. You see bits and I see bits and pieces, you know. One of these days I'll watch the whole shows. I don't have Netflix or anything though. No. Yeah, that Yeah. I probably do have and don't know it. You know, when you sign up for things like Amazon Prime and different things, you get things thrown in. I don't want to find out though, because then I'll watch it all the time.
Oh, great. That's like calculus made easy, you know. Lady <laughs> Oh, great. That's a great one. I, where are you from? I see. Grace? You're here. Thank goodness. She's changing her clothes three times before we go anywhere. <laughs> this is where married guys all know this song. For thousand summers, I will wait for you. Back beside me till I'm holding you. Till I hear you sigh.
place I hear Till I'm touching you And forevermore Sharing your love <laughs> What's so funny? It's a heart-wrenching song. That, that was that was for Diane because she is the Michelle Legrand. Yeah. The whole list of Frenchmen under his name. He had a lot of help. Damn the sleepless nights. The daily fights, the quick to bargain, reach the highest heights. The Dan H's are going to go home and watch on they the live watching, stream. They were watching from Florida last week. I know, they watch every week. They want to know where I am. They want to know, make sure I'm not messing with this building. Especially the tap wall. I know why you're going to have a tap wall. I watched a, a couple of YouTube videos on like the engineering of breweries and bars. And it uh, might have been one of those Jake Tapper ones. Is that his name? Taffer. Tapper, yeah, the guy who does the Bar Academy, Bar Rescue. Ah, yeah. And if you have the, the beer taps on the wall with the cooler right on the other side of the wall, it like solves the whole engineering dilemma about transporting the beer through the pipes, keeping it cold. Otherwise, you got to like recirculate. As it is, you probably recycle, recirculate it through these fancy, uh, with that, you don't have to, because that's going to stay cold. Exactly. Otherwise, you know, I never thought about it before, but like if they got the taps over here and they're freezing it in an, you know, another area of the building, they got to send it through cold, cold enough to maintain that temperature. <laughs> and, and then they have to recycle it. They got to keep it going in a big loop to keep it cold. So it's very expensive and sophisticated, the equipment. Yeah, they've got glycol lines. Glycol lines, that makes sense. That's why the beer tastes like glycol sometimes. It keeps it from freezing. That's Stan, he's just a good guy. He's always doing like community service on like on the fly. Always have to be a service. That's how we roll here in Buffalo. Exactly. We'll even sell you an insurance no, policy. We don't know each other. Yeah. Man, strangers. It's all from this. It's all from this. We don't have any other wife. No one else would want to know us. It's great seeing you kids. Twist her arm, break her arm, take down. Bye bye. Keep up the good work, kids. Thank you. Wonderful seeing you in person again. We'd love to make it a habit. The kids can watch the house. Yeah, just have them watch each other. Just set them up with a little social credit scoring system at home.
Yeah, but I don't want to. Please, please, yeah, relax. When I'm, when I'm done, I'll be done. Don't worry. <laughs> when I'm done, I'm done. I'm not done. Thank you, Dan. What a guy. statistical probability. Sometimes I could get like six in a row and people think I know every song. And I might not know six in a row. The sleepless nights. I didn't do this one, did I? I did it in my head. The sleepless nights, the daily fights. They quit to bargain when you reach new heights. I miss the kisses and I miss the fights. I wish I were in love again. The broken dates, the endless waits, the lovely loving and the hateful hates, the conversation with the flying plates. I wish I were in love again. No more pain, no more strain. Now I'm saying, but I'd rather be Gaga. I wonder if that's where she got her name. Hold out fur of cats and cur. mating of a him and her. I've learned my lesson, but I wish I were in love again. That wouldn't be too hard to guess that it was Rogers and Hart, would it? Yeah. Thank you from Babes in Arms. Oh. That's a pretty song. Babes in Arms. Boy, there were a lot of shows. Yeah, things that you haven't heard of. Yeah, yeah a real well-known song from one of the shows. Very warm for May. Probably. There was one of those shows. And I probably. I write a book from that or something. <laughs> one of those. Probably written for Fred Astaire is a good guess because like half of them were, right? Hey, play that cute song from the Nutty Professor. Hmm. Yeah, I think I, think I remember it. I didn't know it. It's just fun from the old Jerry Lewis Nutty Professor. I love this song. It's one of my favorites. It's so cute. And he sings it when he's... Nick Otto, what town are you in in Virginia? You're near Williamsburg, right? We, we got a... I'm streaming, and a friend of ours in uh, Virginia might be one of your neighbors. This is a very dramatic song. This seems like your kind of thing. She's I'm a fool, you can help me out with it. I'm a fool to want you. I'm a fool to want you. To want a love that can't be true. A love that's there for others too. I'm a fool to hold you, such a fool to hold you, to slurk a kiss, not mine alone, to share a kiss the devil has known. Time and time again, I said I'll leave you. 
imagine writing a song like this? It's amazing. Time and time again, I went away. Then would come a time when I would need you. Once again, these words I'd have to say. I'm a fool to want you. Pity me, I need you. I know it's wrong, it must be wrong. But right or wrong, I can't get along. Without you, wow! That was a passionate person wrote that song. Yeah, it was like Dan. Oh, now you're back. Well, I'm glad you're back. Relax, Dan. It's Friday night. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh you right out of my life. <laughs> laugh and forget this affair. Guess I was foolish to care. Psy Coleman, I'm gonna dance you right out of my dream. Try to be carefree and gay. Guess that I'll learn to play the part. And when our friends begin that artful rumor, you know I'll really. Sense of humor. I'm gonna laugh you right out of my life. Make it a beautiful joke. No one will know you broke my heart. Cy Coleman. You know, he was an amazing jazz pianist. He wasn't known as uh, a writer for all the, all the shows. Probably be known as a jazz pianist. He, 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 was, he, was, as good, he was as good as anybody. He did the pajama game. Did he? The pajama game. Was that from the pajama game? No, maybe not. I, I think he... I think he did that. Really? He did Wildcat. Hey, look, me. Yeah. Whatever they needed. I don't know if I really. Yeah. Mary's never. She's got a. Mary always. Re her memory is solid. Nick Otto is in beautiful downtown Arlington. Not exactly next door neighbor. Where did Shane Gibson live? Where Kim lives.
a crush on you Sweetie pie All day and all night time Hear me sigh I never Had the least bit notion That I could fall you care for cutting cottage we could share the world will pardon my mush on a corner I've got a crush my baby Strike up the band. Thank you. You're welcome. Was it, that was another Gershwin tune. Yes. yes. Good. Here's a song dedicated to Dr. Fauci. I've got you. Under my skin, I've got you deep in the heart of me. So deep in my heart, you're really a part of me. I've got you. I tried so not to give in. I said to myself, self, this affair never will go so well. But why should I try to resist when, darling, I know so well? I've got you. anything, come what may, for the sake of having you near, in spite of the warning voice, comes in the night and repeats and repeats in my ear, don't you know, little fool, you never can win, wake up to reality. Makes me stop before I begin. I've got you.
you're paying attention. Yeah. Well, you did a you did a great job for a Friday night. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah, Zach. Zach. Yes, good friend. <laughs> He's a big guy. <laughs> He's too tall. Yeah, we'll put some down there. It's only my fifth week here. Our fifth week here. So we got to dial that in. Wow. See, there's just talent everywhere you look. It's a show business hotel. Well, thank you. You, you made my night. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, enjoy the games. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Come back to Buffalo for a weekend. We'll be here. We're, we're planning on being part of the building. beautiful thing about hotels, you know? Yes. It is nice. I yeah. Like I love that about the hotel. Everyone has an interesting story. Lounge Academy. My name's Howard. I'm your chief lounge cadet. We're having a ball. We're kind of into the epilogue, I'd say, of the night. Oh my god, nine o'clock. This is the time of the time of the night I really enjoy I don't know what that means, but they when everybody's completely blotto. Right, Diane? Yeah. When everybody's drunk, the place is full of smoke. It's the right mood. Yeah. What's your name? Eladio. Very, very nice to know you. This song's called Eladio. What brings you here? Very nice. It's a good reason to be here. It's quite an event. There's also a dance competition going on yeah, we at the same time. Dance. That's what all the girls are here for. It's a good combination. Really, both, both, you know, they say 
they say dance. basketball is the yeah. University I mean, of ballet. When I, I've oh, enjoyed absolutely. It before, it's very Those moves. Yeah. It's a funny thing. Your son, none of, none of you guys will know this one, except Diane. Might. It's a funny thing. I don't think so. I look at you. I get a thrill. I never knew. Isn't it a pity we never met before? Here we are at last. It's like a dream. The two of us. Classical singer, and he also yeah, Latin guy. He was like the best classical singer and best opera singer, and he best. I don't know. I can't think of that would have been. Anybody was Latin? Jose Torres. Anyway, Gershwin song. There's from uh, 1932. We're keeping them alive. We're, we're like <laughs> preservationists. You know, like instead, instead of these old, this is the songs they were playing that these build, when these buildings were, you know. We'd, we'd be the act. This is what they were doing. Piano, singing these songs. It had to be you, it had to be you. I knew he was a musician. You can tell by the way people listen. I can always tell a pianist. They always look hungry when they look at me. <laughs> Some others I've seen might never be me. Preservation, higher reason. That's right, Dave Granville. He's out in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> 
not in the audience, he's in the virtual participation group. There are no, there is no audience to Lounge Academy because everybody is the show. That's why we call it Reality Piano Bar. Dave Granville, once I left, when I heard you say that I'd be playing solitaire, uneasy in my easy chair, it never entered my mind. Once you That I'd awaken with the sun and order all this juice for one. It never entered my mind. You had what I lack myself. Just one of those things. Just one of those crazy flings. One of those bells. Yeah, that was a pretty good guess at a bell. Now and then rings. It was just one of those things. It was just one of those nights. One of those fabulous flights, a trip to the moon on gossamer wings. It was just one of those things. <laughs> Cole Porter tune from Jubilee. 
well, I hate to see this evening come to an end. What a nice. Do you have anything by Buddy Hall? <laughs> Up at dawning, sleepy and yawning, still the taste of wine. Then I remember you're mine, and I've got a world that's fine. What's before me? Routines that bore me, punch that clock at eight. But what a lucky guy I am. I've got a world that's great. Adam Bombs, Cape Canaveral and false alarms. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's before me? Routines that bore me. Punch rock at eight. If you tell me you love me, I've got a world that you've got a world that we got a world that's great. I'd like to take you on a wild, wonderful venture. Fly like a kite from space, no strings. I don't wanna lose that bell that rings. Cause I've got a world that swings. I've got the world on a string. Sitting on a rainbow, tied the string around my finger. The string reminds me you're mine, and I've got a world that swings. Adam bombs. Cape Canaveral, smoke alarms. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you tell me you love me, I've got a world that you've got a world that we got a world that swings. What a song. Jerry Lewis sang that song in The Nutty Professor. He has his alter ego, Buddy Love, the world's greatest lounge singer. Well, it's been a great night, everybody. Thank you, Dave Granville. Thank you, Nick Otto, for hosting tonight. And Pete's Garage. There's Pete's Garage. I did not see you there. Join us in seven days. If you survive the weekend of drinking, well, I'll be back here in a week. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for hanging out. It was made me feel good to see you relaxing. And here tonight, I could tell you are you are at one with our piano bar. And it was having the effect on people that I wanted to, to do, where they just like chill and forget all the nonsense that we get bombarded with all day. Now more than ever, I think piano bars. We're doing this. We're the right place at the right time. I think. I think like. Yeah. It is nice. It is a thing right now. It's always been a niche thing that some people love, you know, including us, you know. But now I think it's broader even. I think even like people that are like, even into music and stuff, you know, they just like, they just need like anything to save their sanity or, you know, even this, you know. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of drinks doesn't hurt. No. I like that.
she does this. She's good. She used to do piano bars professionally all over. Sure you did. Well, you were playing and singing in restaurants? Restaurants, yeah. Well, I mean, that's pretty darn pretty darn close to this. The only difference is they don't put the stools around them. Well, you talk to us. <laughs> well, he's holding up Jackie Jackson's position. Yeah. Well, doing it very, very well. It, it's needed, you know. And that's nice. Yeah. It's like downstairs, and we were very—we've only been here a month, and we were very surprised. This is our fifth week. I'm keeping track. Are all of his uh, shortcuts on the yeah. Are all of his shortcuts still on the ball board? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Except you know for uh, <laughs> Billy Chilla's yeah. girlfriend's phone yeah. number. <laughs> she was amazing. <laughs> she was so nice. Too. She walked in. Oh, I I didn't know him well, I just, yeah, I just yeah. met him. Yeah, oh, perfect. Exactly. Yeah. 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 He was always so nice. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, seriously successful. Yeah. 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 That sounds like fun. Yeah. 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 Sure, he was serious. Okay, yeah. well. yeah. I just want yeah. you know, I love being in business, yeah. being self employed, and doing all different kinds of things. Oh, that's no, but uh, I've never had any uh, yeah. natural yeah. affinity for like, building, building a oh, Once I had a <laughs> yeah. there was a So I got a taste of it. To that degree. Great teeth. Really? But other than that one time. It's tough. And as far as getting larger than that, and this whole corporate hierarchy, and, and just, I just don't even know how to like, come and deal with it. It's fun for me. Are you happy that you're playing there? Being part of the Hyatt. Because it's, I've never really been part of like corporate like this. A whole bunch of superiors. I don't even understand the process. Uh -huh. But they're all so nice. So I screw up.
But I like jazz. I like all kinds of That city. The thing into the chemistry. It's crazy. I rode, I rode the oil up and then I got out to the next day. But 
I got into energy these times. Yeah, you know, I got to the Now I got those people coming up, and I got into the bangs. By then, you know, you have all these different nice things. So it's like some of them, it's like, well, some you can normally not sell because it hurts your feelings, you know. And you know they're going to come. But what I would do is just, what do you want to buy in there? Just like, all at once, bang, flatten the whole thing. And then I did that last time, and luckily that was before the COVID. You know, so we talked to the And um, And then I would just start building the position. So that, that's what I've been doing.
it's like, you know, I think I'm passing. Oh, see, I've never been to Seattle. My, one of my best friends. Yeah. You know? She's telling me to go and see her. I mean, you're still mad. Yeah, she's ready to turn here. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, though, a little bit of the time needs to stay on. I don't have to spend all week, a lot of the week, preparing this to find it out. You know, you can't improve it. It's just a certain thing. So, a lot of it is because I'm wrapped up, you know, because I'm a nut. I have to have all this gear going. Try to get this other level. Oh, wow. And it's spelled out. Yeah, it's going on. It's the rain. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's yeah. yeah. oh, like the downside. We don't have that here. But we do have a nice color. It's the exact. something and it finds it finds a use you know it finally finds it the purpose is eventually revealed to you to be really yeah, intimate with it. Like tonight, luckily it made it through. I'm gonna save the recording, so just in case. But uh, it's a full PC I thought that I put into a portable It's it's got some kind of a reset button for all the fun. I thought I, I redid all the software and I thought I had it and I did for a few weeks. Now this week it's been acting up and then I had my fingers crossed to be it through the show. But before the show I set up like two hours ahead yeah. and then we're gonna go and get the screen and go on. Yeah, yeah, you're downtown and we're gonna go to the show. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, there's no way we're gonna get through the show. So, so it was doing that during the week, so. Yeah. That's why you got to work with it, so you even know the facts of the work. Yeah, you must have a lot of bad energy in front of the team. I don't have to start swapping out our bills. I need a whole new team to have to do that. Yes. And it fixed a lot of things. There were a lot of gremlins. We've been doing this for a few years. Oh, 
I'm doing things like Because you got plenty of weed. Uh, 
that's a process. I gotta get my, you know, off my lazy butt. You know, get my place ready so it's like the phone, so it's like the hot dog thing where on paper, you know, qualifies and I can get my license and just have it great and have it grandfathered in. Because somebody, they'll put a school in there, they'll do something, and my place won't be able to get, you know? Just to, so I could, you know, horse with it, and also to enhance the value of the property. God, I gotta do it. Oh, is that they're, they're, Yeah, that's where wow. uh, I want a band. Is with a band. Yeah, we need with, we need a band. Play with their university. Like a marching band wherever we go. <laughs> yeah, playing for their uh, team. No, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Thanks everybody for watching. And uh, we're gonna, I'm going to tear down. Hi, Deborah Lynn Williams. Oh, oh thank you. It was. Oh, thank you. It was nice because you were here.
We'll see everybody uh, in seven days minus a few hours. And uh, from the Hyatt Regency Buffalo, we've got some great uh, cheerleaders here tonight, and dancers, and basketball players. The place is just like a, a show business haven. Musicians, <laughs> artists of all kinds, you know. BS artists, that's what I am. Good night, everyone. <laughs>